So you've been making some good progress on your weight loss journey and you've hit a plateau. I'm going to explain to you exactly how to destroy this plateau. So losing weight is a very mentally taxing journey and it can be very discouraging when you hit a store. But don't worry, it's completely normal and I'm going to be guiding you through the step-by-step -step process to fully conquer this store. Well, who am I? I'm Daniel Vincent. I've lost 33 kilograms in six months and I've absolutely destroyed the art of weight loss on a carnival diet. If you're interested in this style of content, hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on and it's a win-win for both of us. So many people will say to go high fat, go low fat, go high protein, go low protein, increase your calories, decrease your calories, and it's really just too much. So I'm gonna simplify it for you. Well, I'm actually gonna bring you guys to a place right now, which is essential to destroy your weight loss plateau. So come along. All right, you may have guessed it, but we're at the gym. And you said your goal was to lose weight, right? But let's get this sorted. It's not actually to lose weight, right? If that was your goal, you would just like cut off your arm to just lose some weight. But your goal is to lose body fat or more specifically look better, right? So before you start saying, oh, the gym, I don't want to build muscle, but I want to turn into one of those egotistical gym junkies. It doesn't have to specifically be in a gym. You just need to do some form of resistance training that will increase your muscle mass and this is the most essential and important thing for losing weight on a carnival diet, specifically on any diet as well, but specifically to smash that weight loss plateau. And this is how I did it. So I was stuck around 87 kilograms and I was trying to restrict my calories. I was trying to increase, I was trying to do all these things, up the fat, lower the fat, but it was just really confusing and it didn't really work. So I just thought, let's just move more. So I started going to the gym heaps more. I started training six times a week and I've got injuries. So I'm training through working around my injuries and I'm not really pushing myself too hard, just enough to build a little bit of muscle because um, I have a few shoulder issues. But it's super important to be, to be doing some sort of resistance training. It can be using bands, it can be doing bodyweight exercises such as push-ups, pull-ups, squats. Um, doing anything like that is essential because that will increase your metabolic rate by having more muscle mass. Um, and I mean, you're eating all that protein from a carnival diet, so you're gonna have some pretty good muscle if you train quite frequently. And yeah, in the last month, I've dropped like an extra four to five kilos of pure body fat. Now I'm at 82.8 kilograms, I'll put up a photo here. Um, and that's just all body fat because I've gained muscle as well and I've gotten stronger. So the gym is so essential. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. My camera ran out of battery, so I'm just gonna be using my phone. So basically, you may be thinking, how is having a packet of frozen mints and eggs here going to make me lose weight? Well, what I've done is I've cut out chicken, I've cut out fish, I've cut out pork, I've cut out things that are not complete macronutrient profiles, and I've simplified it down to two foods, and specifically grass-fed slash free-range for both, and that's really helped me smash my weight loss plateau as well. So you don't have to do what I did. You don't have to do just grass-fed beef and free range eggs. I actually boil my eggs as well and then cook my beef or my steaks on the barbecue. But simple stuff like cutting out cheese, cutting out maybe even raw milk, cutting out stuff like that really has helped me lose my body fat and honestly just helped me feel better. I feel amazing all the time now. And I think that was a saying that it's the last 5% that really makes a difference. And that really applies to a carnival diet. Um, it's the little things, not adding seasoning on. Um, so that won't increase your ground. Just things like that, um, cutting out the cheeses, doing that sort of stuff and just sticking to the basics. I only eat these two foods and I feel amazing and now I crave it. Yeah, so I didn't worry about fat, protein, this and that. And that might, and that may work for you, but this is what works for me. And I think it may work for you because a lot of other people I've given them this advice and it seems to have worked. Yeah, just really whole foods, two ingredients. I might have around 700 grams to a kilo of meat a day and then six to eight eggs, preferably boiled. I don't add any fat as well and I feel like when I've dropped the fat, I've started to lose a lot more body fat, which is interesting. And I know fat doesn't make you fat, I'm not an idiot, but I guess maybe there's just, my body just really didn't need that extra fat. This is 8515 beef, so you can copy what I do if you want, but I wouldn't recommend it because we all have different history, uh, we all have different paths, and our bodies aren't the same, but you can copy the sort of formula that I do, it's just cut down to, I guess, the basics. You can even go on a line diet. Those are the main two things that will absolutely help you to destroy your weight loss plateau. So increasing your metabolic rate or your metabolism by training, some sort of resistance training. And then the second thing is cutting out the stuff like the cheeses, the raw milks, the things that not really ancestrally appropriate. I know eggs aren't ancestrally appropriate, but 
they just aren't as clean as just eggs and beef. Um, and don't worry, you get all the nutrients from these two foods alone. Just cutting out the seasonings, the little things like that. It's the last 5% that makes the big difference. Um, and trust me, I was there, I thought, oh, I'm stuck in this way. And then all of a sudden, it just fell off. It was, it was like a miracle. But yeah, this is just a video from another small, unconventional YouTuber. Um, giving you some advice on how to absolutely kill your weight loss goals. See you in the next one.